congratulations too, Tamron, because the last time we had you on the show, you were uh, slightly wide-eyed. I've just won Miss South Africa. Yeah. Can't quite believe it's real. Now it's Dr. Tamron Green, terribly professional member of the medical community. I know, right? I think it's still a moment of can't believe it. Can't believe it. Um, I think it's been a long journey, studying six years, and now I'm internship. And I think, as you mentioned, this year has been quite a crazy one. Um, to start your first year of internship in the year of COVID just made everything a little bit more challenging. Um, but we're learning on the job, and I'm surviving. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been incredible. And I think you proved quite a few people wrong because you'd won Miss South Africa, still studying at the time. There were a lot of people who thought, all right, well, that's the last we see of her with her medical studies. She'll be off being a famous celebrity for the rest of her life. But you went back, you knuckled down, and what was yeah. it, end of last year you graduated? Yes, last year. But I've always told myself that this is the goal. I've always wanted to be a doctor. Um, I, I'm not going to get distracted from that. But I think a message that I always want to put across to any young girl or any youngster out there is that you can be more than just one thing. You know, you can be a Miss South Africa, but you can still continue your studies, um, be a doctor. You can be even more than that. D discipline is probably more important than ever for you now because you're not just a doctor, but you're a doctor in the time of COVID, which, as you've already suggested, is completely and utterly bizarre. Uh, talk us through a day in the life of Dr. Tamron Green in hospital. Hmm. Let's start with level five. Um, I think that was the most challenging because we'd be on the road at six in the morning, heading into work, coming back at five and later, where everyone was sitting at home, having coffee, watching Netflix. Um, so again, discipline. You know, you have to wake up in the morning, be ready to head in there um, and be prepared for anything that's going to come your way because you never know what a patient could present with. Um, and you just have to psychologically and emotionally stand firm. Um, and you constantly have to learn every day. It's not, I'm a qualified doctor now, I don't have to go and study anymore, no. If you see something new, if you learn about a new condition, it's your responsibility to go home and still read up about it. Again, discipline. Mm. To everyone who wants to be a doctor, know that it's hard work, it's discipline, but at the same time, for your mental health, you need to take a break every now and then.